Last night in Houston, Texas, Travis Scott hosted the first night of his three-day Astroworld Festival. Early in the day, fans could be seen overrunning a VIP entrance with staff completely overwhelmed. Officials detained several concert goers, but the majority that rushed through the gate were able to make it through. Somewhere around 9 p.m. local time, people began rushing to the front of the stage. They were pushing. Anybody who's been to a concert and experienced this knows how scary that can be. People were getting crushed and began to panic. The Houston fire chief said, quote, people began to fall out, become unconscious, and it created additional panic. Officials say eight people died at this time. Eleven people went into cardiac arrest, and there were more than 300 fans that were transported to the hospital near the venue. Videos from the event are terrible, and we're not going to show you most of them because they are graphic. But we will tell you there were people jumping up on the camera platform begging officials to stop the show. At one point during the stream, which was broadcast, you could see a couple members of Travis Scott's staff appearing to let him know what was happening in the crowd. You could see medics from the stage clearly visible. For some reason, Travis Scott opted to continue his set. And really in a sickening display here, you can see his medics and first responders attempt to move through the crowd to get to those who are in cardiac arrest people were getting on top of those first responder vehicles and dancing during the show. Fans are drawing attention to this video of Travis Scott. We have cropped out the image of what seems to be an unconscious person being carried off by security personnel, but it appears to be directly in Travis Scott's line of vision with Travis Scott continuing to perform. Now, TMZ is reporting that there is a source that claims someone was going around injecting some of the victims with drugs, which led to them becoming incapacitated. They wrote a source connected to Astroworld tells TMZ someone in the crowd went crazy and began injecting people with some sort of drug, which caused panic and then a surge. The source says authorities are trying to determine if those who went into cardiac arrest were the ones injected. We're told one of those who died is a 10-year-old. The source says it appears to be a targeted attack. We have not confirmed this report, but the source is a key person involved in the festival. Travis Scott has released a statement about the event last night, writing, quote, I'm absolutely devastated by what took place last night. My prayers go out to the families and all those impacted by what happened at Astroworld Festival. Houston PD has my total support as they continue to look into the tragic loss of life. I am committed to working together with the Houston community to heal and support the families in need. Thank you to Houston PD, Fire Department, and NRG Park for their immediate response and support. Love you all. Later in his set, you can see Travis Scott calling for help as he apparently noticed someone in the crowd who was incapacitated. Again, officials are reporting there are now eight people who have died at this Astroworld event. Of course, this was scheduled to be a three-day event. Today's show has been canceled. It's likely tomorrow will be as well, considering the fact that eight people have died at this event. We're sending our condolences out to the family and friends of those who passed away last night at the festival. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future stories. Check out the recommended videos on your screen and visit rockfeed.net.